Uh, guys, congratulations on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, why don't we start by having you both uh, introduce your characters. Henry, uh, talk a little bit. Uh, your your character is kind of being put through the ringer at the beginning of the, <laughs> the series. Talk a little bit about what he's going through. Yeah, sure. So uh, I play David uh, Langer, the eldest of the Langer siblings. And uh, every Friday night, I come home for dinner, uh, for Shabbat dinner with my lovely family. Uh, my, my mom, Jane and dad, Harvey, brother, Greg, and Nana, um, played by the legendary Carol Kane, of course. And, uh, I, you know, I, I walk in the front door, uh, hoping that everything is going to be normal. I'm going to be asked how I'm doing. I'll ask how they're doing, uh, and we'll sit down and have an orderly, uh, and nice dinner, but uh, most of the time what happens is I walk through the front door and my little brother, Greg, played by Daniel Thrasher, uh, is there to spray me with a water gun or something. So, uh, yeah, basically every episode you'll watch David go from this humble math professor <laughs> uh, that, that as his profession um, to a, you know, to regressing to like to a teen and trying to fight back against uh his crazy little brother who's pranking him left <laughs> and right and uh the rest of his family who's always up to some kind of mischief hijinks you know the show this is a uh this is a broad sitcom in the most classic way so uh you're gonna you're gonna get all of that when when you watch uh dinner with parents and me as david <laughs> yeah, Daniel, talk about your character and how he gets to to revel in tormenting his brother. Man, okay, so Greg Langer, the younger brother, uh, he wears track suits every episode, which is really funny because every week we would film, I would, I'd be like, "What color are we doing this week?" You know, um, and and it's Greg Langer. You know, he he has a lot of dreams. He has a lot of aspirations. He's he's very classic younger sibling syndrome. He wants attention. He wants to be seen and heard and s scream. You know, that kind of a thing. And and uh, I I think it's just a really classic older brother younger brother dynamic. And and it's very you know, which is interesting because I'm I'm the younger sibling in real life, and Henry is the older sibling in real life. So we both had to access our primal instincts for that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, talk a little bit about your guys, the dynamic between you two on the show. And and was there, you know, a favorite scene you guys got to shoot together that uh, uh, you'll recall? Ooh. Do you have one, Daniel, or should I go? You, go ahead. Uh, well, I personally enjoyed the... Basically, one of very few moments where I get to sneak up on Greg, oh, yeah. <laughs> which is in the opening of um, one of the episodes in, in sort of around the middle of the show. Uh, he is uh, searching for uh, some for he, he's going through his box of like prank goods. Basically, it's like as at, you know, in a in a like as if it's a, a cartoon like treasure chest or something. And uh, <laughs> he's so focused on this task that uh, he doesn't notice me come in and I get to come up right behind him and go, Hey, like that. And he goes, ah, you know, and so that, that, that felt good. That, that, that was, that was a nice little moment for, uh, for David. But then of course, uh, Greg tells me that the reason he's going through the treasure chest is that our cousin is coming over and he's, the next rung up even from greg in the uh tormenting uh <laughs> pranking department so uh, we have to team up in that episode against him which is tons of fun <laughs> yeah, it was like wonder twin powers activate kind of yeah like so oh my god we put the rings together and everything it's pretty sad daniel uh i think one of my favorite moments is uh, when we were filming it anyway was in the episode of sip for sip where essentially you know, Henry's character and, and I were sipping on a bunch of teas uh, and trying to hold our, see who can hold our pee the longest. <laughs> and, um, and 
in true brotherly fashion, I do everything I can to see if I can make him pee himself uh, on a day. <laughs> and, um, you know, when we were filming, there's a scene where we're on the patio out in the backyard and he's sitting next to the lady he's into. And I go up for him and I'm just trying to say words with like a, what's that? What are you majoring? What was that called? Psychiatry? You know, like, is really drawing out the S's. Um, that was a really fun day on set because I because I had to get up right next to his ear, you know, <laughs> and like and just for me when I film, I kind of see it as I'm doing it. I see what it looks like in frame, uh, in my mind, and so it just made me laugh so hard, uh, picturing the final product. Yeah, no, the cast is is amazing. You've got Carol Kane in there. You've got some some real veterans. Um, talk a little bit about the um, kind of atmosphere working on set. Do you, is there anything you'll remember maybe behind the scenes uh, working with this this amazing cast? Gosh, I mean, every day was like you know going to the you know the greatest possible college of comedy uh <laughs> ever with and your professor is carol kane and michaela Watkins and dan back at all all of whom are just legends you know they're 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 pros so it was basically impossible to walk away from a day and not learn something from them uh let alone like all the writers and our showrunner john beckerman i mean we were constantly uh joking and uh doing bits and crazy stuff behind the scenes and we were all you know we shot this in london so we're all american and the the the, the main cast is uh so we got to all you know bond over the fact that uh you know they'd bring out uh something called a scotch egg for a snack and none of us had any idea what that was um okay. and we'd sort of you know pick some some new guinea pig every day would try the new the english snack uh and it would either get a huge thumbs up or a huge thumbs down <laughs> from us. Oh, so uh uh yeah i mean uh it, it was it, it was pretty great to uh have all those guys leading the way yeah, yeah, I think I think, yeah, to Henry's point, you know, acting opposite these legends is amazing. Carol Kane, when you act opposite Carol Kane, it's like acting with a king cobra. Like it's a hypnotic trance. <laughs> you know, I feel like I can't move as freely as I once did. Um, you know, John Glazer, who plays the neighbor, he's brilliant. You know, I saw him on HBO. I saw him on a lot of shows before working with him and. And just seeing his spontaneity and his and his comedic timing and his like, it really feels like he's at, he's a vacuum uh, while you're acting with him and he's waiting for his perfect moment to strike. Like the, you know, it's it's it was like this is Henry and I's first sitcom, first big show in a way, and I think um, just yeah being put in the pressure cooker and it's like time to time to go <laughs> you know every day it was like a, it was like a, a conservatory it was amazing yeah. i mean so, i probably the hardest i laughed on the entire show was a scene with john glazer who who plays the neighbor donnie uh and he comes outside to give me a, a pep talk <laughs> Um, I like I on it and this is like I'm being sincere right now like I don't know if I can talk about this without like la I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it through this tidbit here but basically I'm like in my car and I'm trying to roll up my window to yeah. to go you know because I don't want to listen to whatever this guy has to say and to yeah. stop my window from going up he <laughs> takes a huge cabbage Yes. That he's got like a big bucket of cabbage and he smashes it in the window, yeah. like to stick the window, you know, stop it from going up. And then goes on this like, you know, rant uh, speech basically about how, you know, to keep my head up and it's it, whatever like uh, thing that he has to say to me. 
And so I had to very seriously listen to him as he's giving this speech while in my periphery, <laughs> there is a cabbage stuck in the window of my car. So uh, that, that he, the way he did that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. So that's a credit to him and our awesome writers as well. <laughs> Well, that's probably a good note to end on. Uh, Henry and Daniel, thank you so much. Good thank job. you, Eric. Thanks, thank Eric. You. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.